Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to our channel, Why Not Now? My name is Steven and this is my beautiful wife, Lisa Marie. Today we are going to give you six neighborhoods that we think are great places to live in Santiago de Querétaro. So why do we think that these neighborhoods are amazing in Querétaro, Mexico? Well, I'll tell you why. We lived in Santiago de Querétaro, for those of you who are new, for a little over a year and we've done neighborhood tours, not only on these six neighborhoods, but many more neighborhoods in Querétaro and I will go ahead and post that playlist for you below in the in our pin comment mm -hmm. as well as under the description of this video so you can check out all of the neighborhood tours that we've done on foot in Querétaro, Mexico and the criteria that we use for selecting these neighborhoods were pretty much the safety factor affordability factor the proximity to central so we wanted to pick something that wasn't more than 15 minutes more or less away from the center the historic center mm -hmm. um, and the accessibility to to whatever you need banks supermarkets doctors hospitals all of that good stuff we think these are great picks of course there are more amazing great neighborhoods in Caretaro, but we had to just pick six we had a limited guys so we picked six and we'll give you a couple of bonus neighborhoods at the end as well but this was the criteria that we use so absolutely and once again this is our opinion that we find that these neighborhoods are great and so before the vi the video is going to be over you guys are going to see all of our neighborhood tours <laughs> so make sure you check out those neighborhoods so in no particular order let's go ahead and get started number one Hurinquilla. you have to say it Hurinquilla. <laughs> um Hurinquilla is a is a like a number one spot in in our opinion a lot of um, foreigners are moving there. They have a lot of international grocery stores out there, Korean markets. Yeah. Um, as you know, I guys know my wife, she loves to cook. So she loves going out in that area, getting different um, type of uh, foods and stuff that we can't find when we were living in, um, yeah. where we were living in Querétaro. And um, also, Urunquia, um, it's safe. It has the, the largest mall, uh, Antia Mall. Mm -hmm. It has a huge mall out there. Um, that's a luxury mall. And it also has the number one hospital, I think, in the, um, Latin America or, or right. something like that. Uh, like cancer treatment. Yes, for um, cancer research and treatment. Yeah. It's incredible, yeah. Yep. And I'm looking down for in my we'll, notes. We'll put the name of that hospital. We'll flash it on, on the screen below for those of you who want to go ahead and do some research. And that's something that's especially on our hearts, especially for me. Mm -hmm. And my father passed away a few years back from pancreatic cancer. So it's something that, you know, I think is incredible that they're doing all of that work in that hospital. So we'll put the name of that hospital below yeah and we we've, we've done two neighborhood tour videos out there in Hurakia we have, we're over by Hurakia Towers we had done mm -hmm. neighborhood over there and we also had gone out to Plaza Nautica, Nautica. Mm -hmm. and those are nice areas so in my opinion Hurakia um, it's like a 15 minute 20 minute drive give or take from Central historical mm -hmm. um, but it's a nice neighborhood it's green has nice parks Definitely. Pretty much have, have everything you need out in the suburbs out there in Hurakia. Yeah, it's very tranquil and green. It's it's really, if you want to find something that is uh, a, a lot more of modern options out that exactly. way, you have access to those kind of apartments and a lot of greenery, a lot of those um, those fraction, I think they call fracks or fractionamentos there. They come with like pools, albergas, mm -hmm. and they have different amenities out there for those of you who like more of a tranquil lifestyle, a little bit away from the hustle and bustle in the heart of the city. Yeah, and also for you who like to play golf, they have a large golfing community out there. So that's our number one, Urenquilla. All right, number two. Would you like to take number two? Number two. So, guys, good, because two. I'm getting old, I need my glasses. <laughs> Millennial. And Millennial, we actually lived in Millennial yeah. for, I want to say, about close to six months when mm -hmm. we first came down to Santiago de Querétaro when we first moved there. Um, again, a lot of modern options there for you. That entire area of Millennial is very walkable. Yeah. You can find restaurants, cafes. You have the Fresco supermarket there, which is a beautiful supermarket there. You have your, used to be Superama, but now it's Walmart Express, Walmart Express Walmart out Express. there. Uh, you have, you know, vets out there. Anything you can think of, organic markets. We did, I believe, a three-part um, walking tour of Millennial, very in-depth. Yeah. Again, it's in our neighborhood playlist. Um, they're three separate videos. Make sure you check that out. Mm -hmm. It's a great neighborhood. You have access to, to doctors, to dentists, anything you want. And if you want to get to Centro Histórico, you can, if you want to walk, if you're feeling adventurous, you can it's walk. It's adventure, yeah, about an hour. Walk, um, <laughs> or you can just get an Uber ride. Uber, it's like a five to seven minute Uber ride to Centro Historical. 
And um, Millennial, when we were living up there, we used to love watching the, the sunsets. Yes. There are areas where you can go and you can just watch the sunsets. And a lot of the locals used to come out there as well and watch the sunset. To me, that's a beautiful thing. Like, that was a great way for us to come into Querétaro because yeah. Querétaro, Querétaro, Mexico is a beautiful city. It is. It yeah. is a beautiful city. And just for those of you, in case, you know, who don't know, it is, it does sit up higher in mm -hmm. the hills, so you will get those incredible views, but for those of you who aren't easy, <laughs> I just recommend go take a trip, go take a little yeah. Uber ride or a taxi ride up there and just go check it out. It really is a, a beautiful area. Yeah, because some people, we used to tell them about Millennial. I'm going to be honest with you, I love Millennial. Mm -hmm. um, they would say, oh, I, it's a nice up there, but I can't deal with the, the height of it. I'm like, come on, man, the height of it. <laughs> but yeah, Millennial, that's another great neighborhood. Um, you get modern amenities and, and all the things my wife was saying is, is beautiful out there. That's our number two. In no particular order, again. No particular order. Number three, of course, we have to talk about the heart of the city, Central Historical. You know, mm -hmm. Central Historical, what more can you say about it? It's a beautiful colonial city. Yeah. Um, you have coffee shops, you have restaurants, you can walk a little bit further out, go to the store. Nah, 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 nah. Fre oh, um, you can go to, of course, the Mercado. Oh, yeah, Mercado de la Cruz. Mm -hmm. um, and there's another Mercado over there by um, um, Alameda Park. Right. Um, come on, man. We Panaderias, your bakeries. Yeah. Everything you could possibly ever want is there. Yeah. And, and <coughs> yeah, Central, Central um, <coughs> just has Excuse a... <laughs> Central just has a, a, a lot to offer. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's just the heart of the city. There's no other way for me to say it. It's the heart of the city. Um, you have kind of you can find rentals over there. They're gonna be more of the older. Um, they're gonna and, go more towards the older too, and a little bit more part. pricier. Yeah. But if you want to learn, it, I, we recommend this. We actually had a friend of ours, Doris. Hi, Doris, and she she'll eventually be moving to Querétaro. Um, she was so kind to us. We think about her all the time. She took us on a tour. Imagine this, she, she took us on a tour bus, which mm -hmm. we would have never done, but it was an incredible experience and I'm so happy that she told us to go with her because it was all in Spanish and we got to learn a lot about the history of the city. So mm -hmm. if you want to start with the history and learn about um, just the roots of Querétaro, Centro Historico would be the place to go. Yeah, absolutely. All right, number four. This is another neighborhood I think is nice, Centro Sur. Yes. yes. Um, a, you have the, a slept on neighborhood. I think it's a very, it, this, the neighborhood is slept on over there. They have a Shadrawi Selecto that is just built over there. We used to always be able to hang out, drinking the coffee mm -hmm. um, over there. They have the soccer stadium, football stadium, however you want to call it, over there. Um, they have Penadorias. They have um, a lot of so plazas. They, Soriana's, Soriana's. They have a lot of things over there where you can get to, you know. It's somewhat walkable. That's one thing I forgot to mention about Udenkia. You would most definitely need a car mainly out there in Udenkia. Um, but Central Sur is somewhat walkable. You know, you can go out there and walk to see so many things. You can get the modern amenities. We stayed at, we stayed in our RB over there at Hyde Park. Mm -hmm. um, it was kind of on the pricey side. I think you can get those rentals for 16, yeah. 17,000. To me, that's way too much. Yeah, for those high rises, they are they are up in price. But, you know, keep that in mind when it comes to Central Sur. A lot of people rent homes over there or high rises. So when it comes to affordability, you can still find maybe like a studio or one bedroom. Um, I would say maybe give or take around 14, 13 maybe. Yeah. Um, but that was when we were there. Again, keep this in mind. We've been away from Querétaro now for a few months. So there is a chance those prices could have gone up. And also we had pets. So for us trying to find apartments and stuff to rent, home, homes to rent with pets, that could have been yeah. something that would make the prices go up a little bit higher. And we needed furnished, so that's and another also thing. furnished, yep, exactly. Okay, number five. We've done a, we've been over there all the time. We did a Tangus market over there at Alamos. Yes. Um, Alamos, I honestly think Alamos one, two, or three would be great, but I'm more familiar, we're more familiar with Alamos one. Um, Alamos one is a nice, tranquil, neighborhood you know it's like a 10 minute walk to Mercado de la Cruz but it's very residential very residential and, and it has a little walking path where they have a, a park where kids can go hang out there and play you have the the um what's the name of the birds um um the green parrots ah, the green all parrots the all in the trees they make the big nest they be out there people be feeding them they have a jogging path that runs along the main street and people go jogging and walk their dogs so it's very pet friendly there yeah yeah, it's, it's a nice area. They have coffee shops. Um, they have 
just everything you would need. Mm-hmm. We we think that that's a nice area and safety. Safety that's one of the things too. Safety in all these neighborhoods. We right. tell you safety is one of the main focus. And when, and when we say safety, and now just keep that in mind, it doesn't mean that you know crime doesn't happen. There always will be some level of crime anywhere. But in our opinion, these are neighborhoods that are all very safe. Yep. All right. Number six, Jardines de la Hacienda. That's a great neighborhood, I'm going to be honest with you. We actually thought about moving and you don't, out and, there. And people don't talk about this neighborhood a lot. Yeah, we thought about actually moving out there. This one is a little bit further away. It's kind of like the distance, I would say, like Hudenkia from um, Central, it's from like Central what, Historical. It's like a 12-minute drive, give or take? In Uber, yeah. From where, well, from where we were staying at the time, which was, we took it from, was it was it Alamos? We took it from Alamos. Okay. Yep, Alamos. So that, that <laughs> was, and it, it goes on the highway. And you going out when you go out there. Of course, you have malls. Um, you have a casino out there. They have parks out there. Yeah. It's a very area. residential local neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, they have the hospital um, general out there. I think that was a newer hospital. That was one of the main spots for when they were taking care of COVID or something. That, that yeah, it used to be actually a major COVID hospital. Yeah, yeah, but in that that neighborhood was um, it seemed very safe for us. Um, of course, we, on our video, we did like it was a horror story um, where someone. Um, well, uh, you guys will have to watch the video yeah, to see it, it, but but actually, yes, we we I, we named the title of that video was uh, you know a beautiful neighborhood with a horror story because there was something that had happened there and watch the video to see it. But it's a beautiful neighborhood regardless. We would definitely live there in a heartbeat. Um, again, I love that mixture of local and just the, the family friendly mm-hmm. parks and you know, you get to see people you know going around selling fresh food and ice cream. It really is a, a beautiful neighborhood for sure. Yep, that absolutely. Those are our six, but we have a few bonus bonus neighborhoods. Um one of them will be Saint Javier. Mm-hmm. Saint Javier, that that's a nice neighborhood. That's that's kind of like right outside of Centro. That's like a not too far from Alamos either. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's just a that's, small area. Yeah, um, that's like a um, ten minute walk mm-hmm. to Centro. Another one will be Los Arcos. Mm-hmm. We've actually did a neighborhood tour on Los Arcos. That's a nice neighborhood, and I'm pretty sure you can find affordability over there. Yeah. Another one would be Caretas. We were over there. We didn't do a neighborhood tour on Caretas. Caretas. But we were over there in the park, and that neighborhood actually seemed pretty, pretty nice over there. Yeah, but we did show you a little bit, but we didn't do a our our full level of neighborhood tour there. But we were there, and we did show you a little bit of the streets and the park there. And it, it's a nice neighborhood. Now there are some homes that are going to be a little bit older. Um, you may be fine with that if you don't have any issues with that. Mm-hmm. You can rent a nice house there. Um, more so homes, I think, for rent there. Some apartments, but definitely another great option very close to los arcos very close to you can still walk the centro historico yeah. and these are just some neighborhoods of course there are more many more great neighborhoods but we picked those in our criteria that weren't too too far yeah. from centro historico and of course we can go on and on and on but we had to make a make a cutting point so this is our cutting point these are our thoughts on uh, some great neighborhoods in beautiful queretaro mexico yep so make sure you guys go check out the majority of our videos. Go check out the full neighborhood tours. My wife's just going to pin them below. And that's what we think that are great places to live in Querétaro, Mexico. That's right. And for those of you who don't know, we are no longer in Querétaro, but we have videos on Oaxaca City, on Mazatlan. We have plenty of informational, uh, how to get your temporary residency, cost of living, apartment tours, so much information, vet expenses, special testing, pricing for um, dogs with seizures. Mm-hmm. We have so much information, how to travel with your pets, step-by-step guide, uh, showing you the websites, showing you the do- uh, telling you the documentation that you need a plethora of information check out our video library and to all of those who have been with us from since day one we thank you for following us on our journey we thank you for your support and we will end it as we always do live the life that you were meant to live keep a grateful heart and remember why not now all right guys peace